What is going on guys? It is Nate. It is late. I wanted to make a video. It's very easy uh, for what I'm going to do. What I'm doing is, if you saw my last video, you saw my gauge cluster, which, sorry, my phone's here pointing a light so I don't have to hold it, but um, you saw my gauge cluster. It looks like it's kind of working now, um, but they flicker and I want to change that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, all you gotta do is turn your ignition on. I'm gonna shut off my headlights there. And if you have a pop out radio, obviously close the screen. So I'm just gonna put the truck all the way into gear. And I got a Mountain Dew can in here, I gotta throw away. Left that in there from earlier. So mine just, mine's broken. My dash bezel is broken, so it's held on by hopes and dreams. So yours isn't gonna come off this easy. Um, it just pops off though. There's just clips that would clip into these little tabs right here, but mine are not existent because um, my dash is broken. So what I'm going to do is pop this. I have a switch in here. Um, you probably are, are not gonna have this. You're gonna have, um, more than likely a cargo lamp which is right there let me grab my phone you have a cargo lamp that's right there or fog lights whatever it may be or power um uh power uh hatch power rear hatch if you have a tahoe or suburban i don't know if suburban's had that but um something like that right there You're, you can go and disconnect that mine is disconnected because my cargo light doesn't work never has since i've driven it so you can go and disconnect that it's just a simple clip which is tucked way back there and I'm going to undo the switch real quick, so I will be right back um, once I get that, uh, these couple terminals undone, even though the switch doesn't work. It's still hooked up. So let me go on, let me undo these real quick. Let me undo those. Give me one second here. All right, guys, got that undone. It was very simple, just pulled those out, and I'm going to just pull these back through here if I can. Actually, I'm gonna push them through because it's easier. And I'm just going to set my dash off to the side. You can unplug it if you want to, which actually my Bluetooth mic is being caught on something here. Hang on. There we go. Okay. My Bluetooth mic from my radio was getting caught on something. Um, so, so after you undo your, your plugs, which again, it's just a little clip or just a little plug that top pushes down and you pop it out after you get that done you can just set the dash off to the side i just set my phone down you can set the dash off to the side wherever you want this will do just fine for me um personally and at that point you can go ahead and put your truck in park and turn the ignition off so there's four seven millimeter bolts that hold this in one two two right there and two on this side sorry it's hard to see one up top there and one um, at the bottom behind that this little plug, which this plug actually goes to my cargo light um, that's just tucked down there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take those four out. I'm going to do that real quick. Again, it's just four four bolts. Let's pull out, pull the bolts out, and then the cluster just pops out. It's not it's not held in by anything else. Um, the the plug for the cluster itself is actually built into the dash, so it just pulls out. You don't have to unclip anything. Let me go ahead and pull those four bolts out and get this cluster out. We can go into the garage over there and I can show you uh, where the lights are for the 194s. All right, so I got those four bolts out and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. Like I said, you can do it one-handed really. It just pulls out and you just pull it out of the little the little opening that you have here just like so and now we will go into the garage here with this and I will show you what to do alrighty so here is the back of the cluster you it may look a little um, intimidating I would say probably not um, there's just a couple different um, bulb sizes. You can technically change out all of these um, that are offered in your vehicle. You just got to get the right size. Some obviously are going to be missing. 
so I don't have a diesel um, so my um, my glow plug or wait to start would not be there which I don't even know where that is I don't it's upshift I don't even have, I'm assuming it's for a manual I don't have a manual obviously so uh, all you're gonna do these little these three black ones over here one two three and then these three gray ones right there one two three um, you're gonna just twist left and pull out and these are the bulbs that I had in there they've been in there god probably since 2014 um, like some of my other stuff that I've done to my truck or at least my wheels anyways um, so these are the ones that were in there and the ones I'm putting in Sorry, garage is a mess. Need to do some spring cleaning, but it's no, oh, it's just now spring. Um, these are the ones, anyways. These are the ones I'm putting in. So the difference is a little noticeable. Second stack of LED, so four individual LEDs compared to one, uh, one, 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 one bigger one on each side. So I don't, are they gonna be brighter? Um, maybe I don't know. Ooh, okay, I just dropped that. Don't do that. Okay. So that's uh, that's really it. Um, you don't know which way what the correct way is to put these in until you put them in. Put this or put this these the black uh, the black connectors we'll say um, back into your dash and find out if it lights up or not. If it lights up, you did it right. If not, switch it around. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm obviously gonna do it off camera because these just pull out. Let me go ahead. This is gonna be a pain to do. I can't do that one. Yeah, I can't do that one hand. But they just pull right out. They're just little. They're just socketed in there. So we're gonna put the new one in here. I'm like holding this against myself on my little mini tripod. So they just push in. See if I can do this one handed. Yeah. So see, they just push in. So I'm gonna put this back in myself. So I'm going to do that for all of these, and I'm going to do it for two up here again, and then these three, and see how many of them light up, if I'm lucky all of them will, but um, we'll see how many light up, and whichever ones don't, we'll swap them around, I'll be back when they are all lit up. Alright, the dash is, in, or I shouldn't say the dash, the cluster is in now, I tighten down the four bolts, one, two, and then again, one up top. So I can get it closer. Hang on here. Right there, one up there, and then one right where that black tab is. Oh, it's back there. I promise it's back there. So when I turn this on now, and I did it took me a couple times of in and out to um, get this get this working properly, but they are on. They look a little blue. Hang on, sorry, I'm gonna turn that off because it was annoying me. They look a little blue, but it is all right. Um, it's it's actually less blue than what it was before, but the these gauge clusters have, pull this back out. These gauge clusters have a blue tint to them for whatever reason. It doesn't look like it, obviously, but they do. So it looks bluer than what, it actually, at least on the GoPro screen, it looks bluer than what, the what it is in person but um it's not completely white it's not like a frost white like not like that that's more white than what the gauges are but it's a lot whiter than what the old ones were so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put this dash panel back on it kind of just sits there because again the um the clips on these are broken on this dash no big deal i'm gonna get a new one eventually i just gotta find one that i want that's worth spending the money on really so let me get that put back on and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'll start the truck and I will, so that way the thing doesn't ding, and I will go ahead and show you what it looks like once the dash is back on. All right, I lied. I'm not starting my truck because it's 11, 17 at night, which isn't a big deal, but my truck's not the quietest and there's no reason really for me to start it. Uh, this is what it looks like with the dash put back together. Good enough. Go kick the lights on don't mind the dinging I'm sorry but it is all lit up now I actually had a dead spot down here um, I fixed that I was it was a dead spot on my last set of LEDs that were in there but I fixed that so that is a lot better now it looks a lot nicer in here especially with with my non 
um, without my interior lights being on. It looks a lot nicer in here. So I completely dig that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on it, please comment down below. I am always willing to help. It is pretty straightforward, but some people um, get confused and whatnot. So again, if you have questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I will gladly walk you through uh, step by step on what to do if needed. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.